<laughs> hey, I, I'm doing pretty good. How you doing? Good. I don't know if you remember me from back in the Queen of the South days. Oh, yeah. it's It's been a hot minute, hasn't it? Well, and there's no facial hair. That's the commentary I keep hearing from your fans while you're on Chicago Fire. Where's the facial hair? I know. I'm still getting used to it. It's been a couple months now, but, you know, I think it was about five years without being clean shaved. So, um, I don't know. It's a change. Okay. So, you're currently starting on Chicago Fire. Tell us a little bit about Lieutenant Greg Granger. Uh, yeah, I play Greg Granger. I came in episode four of this season. So it's been, I think that was around mid-January that started. And um, um, I'm, I, I work at another firehouse in Chicago. And through a, a, a coinciding incident, I came to meet uh, Sylvie Brett, played by Kara Kilmer. And um, we kind of hit it off. And we're seeing where that goes. Um, I, I feel like the first time he saw, he saw Sylvie Brett, it was like the emojis with the heart eyes. Do you, do you agree? Yeah, yeah. It was a little bit, yeah, interest at first sight kind of thing going on. And it's kind of, so it's kind of a weird time uh, for Sylvie. She's kind of in, you know, kind of a will they, won't they with um, Jesse Spencer's character. Um, I have all my notes here. Oh, with <laughs> Matt Casey. And uh, so it's kind of like a, this weird space where she's like not over this and kind of interested over here. Can you talk a little bit about that? Um, yeah, it seems that she's kind of figuring things out and I'm just waiting, waiting around, seeing what happens, whether will she, won't she kind of thing. And um, I don't really know what's going to happen. We got to keep watching to find out. They don't let me know. Um, so I'm kind of curious to see what she's going to decide at the end of the day. Wait a minute. What do you mean that you're waiting? Last night, y'all hooked up. Oh, well, yeah, that, 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 that's true. Um, be clear. Things well, have you, happened. you know, if it moves beyond that, 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 that first encounter, whether it stays there or, in, in, in it, or it becomes something a little bit more serious, we'll, we'll have to wait and see what happens. Well, what are you hoping, though, since uh, you're there on a recurring? Do you want to have a, a full-time gig at Chicago Fire? Well, I mean, uh, yeah, obviously it would be nice to ha have a longer run there and, and see where things go between Granger and Brett. Um, but we'll just have to see where her where her emotions lie. Well, I mean, her emotions maybe lie somewhere else. But I mean, she was she knew where she was last night. She, she's trying to work things out last night. Yeah. <laughs> well, but now this is bringing conflict between uh, Brett and Matt because he but i mean he's been off doing his own thing too to be clear yeah you, you know there's nine seasons of the show and i haven't been able to watch the whole run so i'm not sure of the the whole backstory about with him and the other characters but obviously he's got some mixed emotions too um that don't let him commit to to, to sylvie um so that's another question that's up in the air lots of cards got to fall in place to see what happens Okay, so let me catch you up. Here's the short version. <laughs> so Matt was married to Brett's best friend, played by Monica Raymond. And then she went off to Puerto Rico, and he just was, like, over here. She came back last season. But, I mean, she, keep, she went back to Puerto Rico. That thing should be done. It seems like his heart is still there. Um, but he kind of was seeing, like, oh, my God, I kind of have feelings over here with Sylvie. And so they had a makeout sesh. Like, you guys, uh, Granger and Sylvie went way further. But they had a makeout sesh, and then they had the conversation the following episode where it's like, you know what? Like, she has gr she's sticking to girl code, which much respect for me. And she's just like, it's, it's too weird. That's my best friend. And then in this episode last night is where she confronts him and says, uh, I think you still have feelings for her, so you need to kind of back off of this guy. So now you're caught up. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate the cliff notes. I saw I saw the end of last season and what happened this season before I came on. So I, I was aware that Sylvie's uh, was making out with him too. Um, but yeah, I don't know what happened. Maybe maybe last night's episode inspires him to get over um, that other girl. So we'll have to, I like, hope so. See. I'm I'm cheering for more Granger personally. <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> Now, tell me, tell me, have you been doing any kind of firefighter training for this role? Um, you know, I haven't, from my understanding is, you know, the other regulars on the show that have been there for a while, I, I believe, I don't know if I'm correct, but from what I hear, they go through an actual kind of boot camp um, as um, for learning, you know, what's involved in being a firefighter. I've just had to do a little bit kind of 
things that are directly related to what I have to do in that episode and um, learn the terms and, and that kind of stuff. But no training beyond that. Thankfully, whenever we're doing the firefighting related stuff, there's there's a lot of the background and the extras and the other people in the firehouse are real life firefighters as, and they also have consulting firefighters on set. So there's always somebody around to be like, am I doing this halfway right? Or do I look like an idiot? Or what's going on? Or what is that thing? Um, so I don't feel completely lost, but no, I haven't gone through proper training by any means. So there's no future for you to become a firefighter someday. Well, I, you know, you never know. Life, life throws you uh, lots of twists and turns. So I don't know. <laughs> well, we, I, I'm noticing in the comments, we have a lot of uh, Queen of the South fans. So I want to let everybody know Chicago Fire. It's on currently on its ninth season. So if you want to kind of catch up with everything that's going on, and then you can support John Ecker on here. Uh, all of the episodes are available on Peacock. And uh, the new episodes air Wednesday nights at 8 p.m. Um, and you too, you too, John, you can catch up with all of the drama that happened before. You can catch up on Peacock. I got to get Peacock. Yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> that's why I haven't been able to catch up on everything. I'm reading all the, the comments too. They're making up names, Branger or Gret. And then, and yeah, I think Queen of the South is about to air too. So I think that's going to oh, air in April for people who want to keep supporting those guys. It's a great group of people. If we want to, if we can segue now into some Queen of the South, um, <laughs> I was looking at Daylin posting all these pictures from set, and there was this one photo where we see James looking up to the sky, and he's standing um, next to Teresa, and Daylin goes, "What do you think is happening here?" And I said, "He sees the spirit of Wero." <laughs> Thanks for keeping my spirit alive. I appreciate that. Hello, always, and I mean, and sometimes you have popped up in these flashbacks, so. Um, it's uh, going to be the final season. Any chance we can see some widow in a flashback or the spirit or something? Um, you know, um, I, I, I think they've pretty much wrapped from my understanding, and I haven't been to New Orleans in a long time. So unless there's some flashbacks or something, I'm not sure. But yeah, I somehow managed to work my way into every season up until now. So it was a good run. It's a great group of people. And I'm super happy for them. Yeah, we were here uh, for all of those seasons. And so that it was always the question, you know how when we started the series, we start with the ending. So I, it was always, so who shot Teresa? So it's not Guero if you're not back, right? Yeah, I don't think it's me. I mean, unless, I don't know, they, you know, the things they can do in post-production these days, who knows? But yeah, I don't know what happened with the story. I got to watch season five to find out how it, how it ended. Yeah, that's me sitting here taking notes from all my theories, like, Okay, I used to think it was where all that did it, but if you're not there, then I have to adjust. It's like, you know, like those football. Yeah, who knows? Because they, they kind of uh, got away from the, the original book a, a while ago. So, yeah, it's got to come up with some theory. But yeah, I, think it's, I think it airs in April. So in a few months, you should have your answer. So you'll definitely be watching. Yeah, of course. Okay, um, I want to welcome any of the fans who are in the comments. I see one of your biggest fans, Jeremy, is in there. Say hi to Jeremy. Uh, it's so hard to follow these while I'm talking at the I, same time. Yeah, I'm trying to see who's in there. I know I'm a professional here. Um, <laughs> and even I struggle because they go so fast. But I wanted yeah. to... Hay gente que quieren que hablemos en español. Uh, uh, muy bien. Sí, veo también hay muchos brasileños, pero desafortunadamente no hablo portugués. Oh, we have people from France, too. Oh, from all over. I saw from, from my family's from Peru. I saw that there's some people from Lima representing there. All over. Um, I did want to ask you, we had like a little tease of uh, that you would be able to uh, maybe collaborate a little bit with uh, David I is it Eigenberg? Eigenberg, one of my favorites on Chicago Fire. What do, you, what do you mean by collaborate? I mean, we collaborate in the sense that I'm subbing for him in last night's episode because he goes on vacation. No, no, I know, but I mean, like, it was like you guys kind of talked to each other, and I just wanted to see more interaction. Like, are you coming back? Is there going to be more there? Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, you got to stay tuned. I'm definitely coming back. Um, I can't really say what happens, but um, we're definitely going to see me and uh, Granger and Sylvie's character um, move in one direction or the other. We got to wait and see. I'm still finding it out as we go, because I still got some more episodes to shoot. Well, with Granger... Um, be more of a presence in the firehouse. I mean, obviously, I feel like he's really just there for Sylvie. But uh, do you think that uh, long term, he would want to kind of contribute to that firehouse? Um, I don't know. I mean, that would be good. But you know, also, that kind of makes things difficult, whether whether uh, Granger and Brett's character um, 
move forward or not, that would be kind of awkward to be working in the same place. It could be really nice until it's not. Um, so that would, that would definitely uh, work out to have some interesting drama in one way or the other. Yeah, I was just going to say, we watch these shows for the drama, so it would make for some really good drama. But you agree, right, that he's there for Sylvie? Yeah, yeah, uh, of course. But um, it would probably, you know, it's already a very stressful environment. So, I don't, you know, but all these characters have had relationships in the firehouse. So I would imagine it adds to a little bit of extra level of stress. Look, every, all the, the existing Chicago oh. Fire fans, they want you to stay. <laughs> well, I appreciate that, guys. Oh, no, they said, I love you, but I love Bretzy. I, I guess that's their couple's name. Oh, yeah, there, there's lots of people that aren't very happy about me. It's, it's crazy. You, I, I, every now and then I'll watch on Instagram and look at tag pictures, and there's like Chicago paparazzi that are, are checking <laughs> out where we're filming and seeing if I'm still around, and a lot of people don't seem too happy about it, which is kind of funny. Well, it, I think that really goes to the point of how much people are like so involved in the one Chicago world. And, uh, you know, when they ship a couple, like they need it to happen. But we, it feels like this is kind of like Granger's coming in to kind of maybe push uh, Casey into kind of figuring out what he wants. Getting his shit together. Yeah. I don't, yeah. I mean, it's great. I mean, obviously, they, there's a huge fan base and people um, creates a love hate relationship. The writers have done a good job in uh, creating that. Um, that anticipation. And uh, I just saw somebody ask about Firefly Lane. Are you going to do more season two? I, but you know, I, I don't That's up in the air right now. It's, you know, it's a weird situation because we've, we wrapped that show 13 months before it aired. So it was, oh, wow. it seemed almost kind of, uh, I don't know how to explain it when it finally aired because it, it felt like it was a lifetime ago that we shot it. And thankfully it's, it's appears to be doing really well. A lot of people watch it on Netflix. Um, a lot of people have been reaching out from decades ago from high school and some people I haven't talked to saying they're watching it. So um, it's got it's definitely got a fan base, but I think it's still up in the air whether or not a second season is going to happen or not. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm checking the uh, deadline updates just like everybody else to see if, <laughs> see if it gets renewed or not. Oh, wow. That's crazy. Uh, somebody else told me that the other day, too. They're like, listen, we find out when you guys find out in the, you know, like in the trades. I'll probably find out afterwards. I'll probably get somebody tagging me on the, the news article on Instagram or something. That's how I'll find out. Well, I really love that you're keeping super busy. and You're on all these projects. But Chicago Fire is like such a special show. I, I'm secretly hoping to see you continue on there. Me, too. I'm very grateful to, to be working there and especially in these times to have a job because it's, you know, it's been tough the last year for a lot of people. So... I'm lucky in a lot of aspects. A lot of people in the comments are mentioning your dad. I saw him when he was, uh, I saw him in, in Mexico City when he, you were still doing Queen of the South. And I, I think he was in Señor de los Cielos, wasn't he on that? Yeah, I think we were, I was doing the pilot while he was out there. And uh, I, uh -huh. I think I, he's, um, he's heading back um, soon for Telemundo. So yeah, all of his fans will be able to see him pretty soon in, in Telemundo in another series. Uh, our sister company, People in Espanol, are on here saying how much they love you and your dad. Uh, uh, I, I bring him up. I still have, I still have somewhere um, around here a People in Espanol uh, with uh, when my little brother was born. When he's, a, he's with my dad on there holding Leah, my little brother. It's somewhere around here. How old is he now? At like nineteen. Oh uh, wow, that was a long time ago. We need, we need yeah. John Ecker on a cover. People in Espanol, <laughs> Lola. Oh yeah, time flies. It, no, it really does. But uh, the reason I brought up your dad is because at the time I said, oh, my God, like we've had crossover with Señor de los Cielos before with uh, Queen of the South. I'm like, I would love for you guys to like act together, interact with each other like on the show. Is that something that you'd like to do, too? That would be awesome. Yeah, you're right, because because Rafa Maya was on a few few uh, episodes of, of Queen of the South. Uh, that would be awesome if somehow we, we coincided on the, on, a, on the same job. And it's always been mentioned and brought up ever since I started doing this. But it's just, I don't know, it just hasn't happened yet. But I, I, one of these days, it's got to happen. Uh, somebody in the comments would like to know, do, did you prefer to see Teresa with Güero or with James? Of course with me. Obviously. I mean, that's obviously. <laughs> uh, I don't know if everybody else agrees, but uh, but yeah. I definitely I know prefer for that. Sure, I know for sure that most people uh, were really devastated when we lost Widow, but that's the way that the cookie crumbles on that I story. Know. It's just, it's just, you got to keep the drama going. But yeah, it was great. That was a great experience. I miss working with uh, Lisi and 
still talk to her. I still talk to a lot of people from that show. So it was a good experience all around. But yeah, I was definitely bummed when, when I, when I, when I got killed. <laughs> well, we all For the second too. time. Yeah. Yeah. But then he just never went away. So I, that's why I kept hoping. I think he's going to pop back in in the end because he always really does. Yeah, they could do some type of crossover with The Walking Dead and I arise with <laughs> me as a zombie for the third time on the show. Oh my god, Pote could be a zombie. That would be fun. I'm sure I'm sure Himki would have a lot of fun doing that. Oh my god, we need to I'm gonna pitch this to Daylin so we have a spin-off. There you go, that'd be great. Uh, we have a podcast. It's called What to Watch. John Ecker, when you're not busy being on all the hottest shows, what are you watching? You know, I don't watch a lot of TV. I'm trying to remember what the last thing. I don't watch a lot of movies, usually like one show at a time, and I'll maybe watch an episode a day. Um, the last one, I, I uh, just finished WandaVision, and the one before that I was watching, what's this? I can't even remember the name of shows. Um, I've been watching Rescue Me, too, which whenever I have free time on a plane or something, I'll watch an episode of Rescue Me, but that's an older series. Um that's about it. I don't watch too much. Okay. Well, I know that you're not a super like social media guy, so I'm super grateful that you spent some time with me today. No, I, don't I appreciate see really, it. Everybody's just like flailing over like how cute you are and all these kinds of things. So I don't see really <laughs> any more questions. Well, so, I appreciate all these people showing up to watch me talk about this. Oh my God. Everybody was commenting like all, when we were posting the ads, like how much they love you. Like literally when I was watching Chicago Fire, because I, I mean, I cover the one Chicago universe for years. And then I'll, I go, oh my God, is that John Ecker? And I freaked out on Twitter and I'm like, John Ecker is on Chicago Fire. And everybody was freaking out saying they're going to watch Chicago Fire now. Oh, that's awesome. Please keep watching. Keep watching every Wednesday. Well, we all love you. I'm glad to see that you're looking so great and you're kicking <laughs> butt and you're bringing the much needed fire to Chicago Fire. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I appreciate you having me and I appreciate oh, everybody coming on to watch us. Of course. And just to remind everybody, Wednesday night are the new episodes of Chicago Fire. He's already teased here that he will be back. So stay tuned. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Bye, guys. Bye.